All right, look, so a quick side note here. Got the best five quarterbacks in the NFL. We're coming at you with another list. So sit down, get comfortable, really attain this information because I promise you, this is about to be the most accurate top five quarterbacks in the NFL list you've ever seen. And I'm going to just tell you like this. Number one, obviously, you got to sit at number one, Patrick Mahomes. He's going to be number one because the things he does with the ball is absolutely incredible. We're yet to see anybody play the quarterback position like he has done throughout his career so far. So Pat Mahomes, of course, number one. Number two, we're going Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is at number two in the top five quarterback list because Lamar Jackson can do any and everything with the football and he's a dual threat quarterback who can throw the ball very, very accurately. A lot of people sleep on his arm because his legs are so well and so valuable to that Ravens team. But when Lamar Jackson drop backs and actually throws the ball, it's nine times out of 10, very accurate. And he's putting it exactly where it needs to be. Lamar Jackson is also very smart with the ball. And he's very smart when making decisions on who he's going to target the ball to at, at the quarterback position and who's open at wide receiver. So Lamar Jackson, definitely going to be number two on that list. And number three, I actually said, surprised myself with this because oh man it was wild to me i don't I, I don't know how i got this but you know really really thinking about this list i want to erase all biases and i gotta go number three here is dak prescott as the top five quarterback in the nfl dak prescott is sitting at number three and before you talk about oh dak isn't clutch dak isn't this dak isn't that i gotta tell you something that dak is because dak was number one in completions last year he had the second highest completion percentage last year and he was number one of those who played more than 10 games in the season last year oh don't forget dak was number one in passing touchdowns second in yards thrown all last season and then he said he was going to throw less than 10 interceptions and what did he do he threw less than 10 interceptions which was less than Patrick Mahomes to attack of Alova Jared Goff Jalen Hurts Brock Purdy Jordan Love you name the guy and I promise you that Dak Prescott threw less interceptions than him so based on what I've seen from this man last year in the previous years I think Dak, Dak Prescott is definitely up there in that in that top five quarterback conversation yeah I know his team doesn't succeed in the playoffs they don't win in the playoffs, and that's tough to do. But it doesn't always come down to being his fault. A lot of times when we see the confusion with the Cowboys, I think it comes from above. I think it comes from the tone not being set and just guys being on different pages. But that's something that your head coach has to make sure they look at and lock down and tear it apart, make sure it's okay. Other than that, no, nah, man, Dak definitely does his job. And it's clear, it's all right there in the numbers that he does his job. And looking at the play, he even does his job. He puts the ball where it needs to be, but sometimes the defense doesn't step up. Sometimes receivers are dropping passes that could be extremely pivotal in the game. So can't put everything on Dak Prescott. He's sitting at number three in that top five quarterback conversation. Number four, we're going Joe Burrow. A lot of people forgot about this guy. Joe Burrow is a great quarterback. I think he's one of the smartest quarterbacks that we have in the NFL right now, especially for a guy who's still so young in the league. But, I mean, he tends to always be very accurate, but because of the injuries that he's had over the previous few years, a lot of people forgot that he has a rocket on his arm, can throw far, he can throw close, he can throw middle, or he can throw a, like a, a, a mid-range distance. But either way, wherever he's throwing the ball, it's always going to be accurate for Joe Burrow. And I think he also makes the correct decisions when he's looking down the field in terms of who he's going to target and who he's going to throw the ball to. So got to go Joe Burrow there. And then at number five, I'm going to another guy here who's an experienced vet, Jared Goff. He is sitting at number five in the top five quarterbacks conversation. This is an experienced veteran who's clearly shown that he can see the field well, win ball games, and get the ball where it needs to be very accurately. A lot of guys right now in the league are struggling to get the ball places where it needs to be in an accurate and timely manner. Jared Goff has proven when he was with the Rams and when he was with the Lions that he can continue to get the ball where it needs to be accurately in a timely manner. Now, I know there were some names left out of here. There were some big names that people really care about. But above all, my top five is still going to be Pat Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Dak Prescott, Joe Burrow, and Jared Goff as the top five quarterbacks in the NFL. People who I missed, 
Let's touch on it really quick. Jalen Hurts. He was one of those guys that I missed. Jalen Hurts is not a top five quarterback to me. Jalen Hurts was third in interceptions last year. And to me, he's big because of where he plays, not necessarily because of his play. Jalen Hurts has not done anything that has shown me over the years that, oh, this guy is the best quarterback in the league. He's not top 10 in passing. He throws multiple interceptions game after game and season after season. He's been sitting in that top five, top seven range of interceptions for the previous few years. So I can't put Jalen Hurts up there as a top five quarterback when he has not been performing. It's the city of Philadelphia and the Eagles as a whole that's been performing. And because Jalen Hurts is the quarterback for a team like the Eagles, that's why he gets so much recognition. It's not because of his play. So Jalen Hurts, absolutely not. Not a top five quarterback. Got to leave him out of that conversation. Another guy who is tough and people are going to complain about, Josh Allen. Josh Allen is not a top five quarterback. Very inaccurate at times and very inconsistent at times. Yes, he plays very well at times as well. He can run the ball. For a white guy, you know, hey, that's good. <laughs> you don't see too many white quarterbacks running the ball and getting where they got to go. But I I'll give him credit. Josh Allen, he gets to where he got to go. I mean, he makes good plays. Uh, he's a great quarterback. Not saying he's bad. But it's just to be in that top five conversation, I need to see consistency and I need to see your timing with your receivers on par and I need to see it clicking or at least give me something. But Josh Allen, I think he's been mad overrated for the previous few years. And there was multiple games where it's shown that he was overrated because they lost because of him. So Josh Allen, another guy, Jordan Love, I think he's going to be there. Tough break for him, but he picked it up later on in the season. I think he, he'll he definitely be good and be a top five quarterback in this league at some point. Tua Tagovailoa, another guy who I think will be a top five quarterback in this league. Brock Purdy had a great season. C.J. Stroud, one of the guys... I, I really debated going back and forth on C.J. Stroud. I know he's just a rookie or second year now, but... C.J. Stroud showed out last year. He did his thing, man. He definitely balled out. And for most rookies, it's rare that you see that. And especially with Jordan Love, too. I mean, this was his debut season as a starting quarterback, and he played really well as also. So, you know, it, it, it's tough. But there was a lot of guys out there. But above all, no, man, that top five, top five quarterbacks, Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Dak Prescott, Joe Burrow, and Jared Goff are those top five quarterbacks in the NFL. Anyway, look, man, we got some news and stuff coming up. Stay tuned for the next episode. It's going to come along. Go ahead, listen to the rest of that. Anyway, go ahead, shoot us a quick voicemail call. If you heard something you agree with, you disagree with, you like, you dislike, go ahead, shoot us a, num uh, shoot us a call, 219-413-9405, and we'll play your take back on our next episode. 